The Adaptation Fund Project, or AF Project in Micronesia, has been active since 2018, providing over $1.1 billion to developing countries for adaptation initiatives. These projects are fully managed by the recipient countries from planning, implementing to monitoring. In Pohnpei, the project focuses on Nukuoro and Kapingamarangi Islands, working with the Pohnpei State Environmental Protection Agency EPA, to ensure water security and improve livelihoods. The project involves various agencies, including the Pohnpei Utilities Corporation FSM Department of Environment, Climate Change and Emergency Management, which bring expertise in water and environmental issues. Nukuoro and Kepingamarangi are two of five outer islands of Pohnpei. These atolls are home to vibrant communities with deep cultural roots, but these communities are facing unprecedented challenges brought on by climate change. One of the most pressing issues is water scarcity. Frequent droughts and changing weather patterns have led to severe water shortages. With limited freshwater resources, the people of Nukuoro and Kapingamarangi must rely heavily on rainwater collection. There are a lot of improvements that have been done uh, at the time, especially on the island of Kapinga and Nikwar. The improvement is, is specifically on the catchment area. In general, uh, I would say that uh, the issue that they're facing nowadays is, for me, I would say that it's a big, it's a big improvement. That the assessment that was done that most of the work was uh, basically on repairs maintenance and all of this. With regards to the how often uh, the trips are to the two communities, it really depends on the uh, scheduling of the festival by FSMTC and I. And sometimes we can be uh, more like address the issues or trip to the outer islands within two months. And sometimes it delay up to four or five months. And uh, that's really one of the issues that we face in implementing the project on those two islands is traveling or the transportation. That is the issue that we face. The project has resorted to chartering vessels to enable transport projects materials to the islands. Uh, when we reach there on those islands where the assistance from those uh, communities is not there for us to speed up the process of the transportation. So those are the issues that we face when we're on those islands. There is a water uh, management plan for the two communities that we are in development and in, it's about to be finalized. And once it's been finalized, we will have to present to those two communities where it will provide them the guidelines or the guiding documents and the procedures that those two communities will follow in ensuring that those uh, projects or those infrastructures are being maintained and being provided uh, by the means of those communities. Tang Rutan Mauke Boy, Tricking Gilanga Mass Shaggy Estono Tir Tengabe, Harry, come out when a project of me, right in Berengi. Some of us they have a nice uh, catchment, but a lot of us they don't have, but it's help, helpful for that uh, team to come and help us. Fix the one that not good. I always like to point out the challenges of the projects, but it all it all comes down to like 
how the project will sustain because that's what everybody's like looking at uh, how would it be sustainable for the future especially for uh, in all assessment that we do we always encourage the community to take part and also uh, like take ownership of that project because uh, the department of the gum is just here to manage it and run it but in the end it's it, it goes back to the community of owning it. <laughs>